Okay guys, so this whole new concept of a flipped classroom is very different than your traditional lecture and then homework. So since we're flipping it, it's very important that you use the lecture to your full advantage. Now there's times where I'm going to ask you to pause the video in order for you to go ahead and write down what's on the board. It is very, very important that you try not to listen to me and write at the same time. I'd rather you just write everything down and then I'll go through it and you can make little notes here and there. Anything you can put a question mark in case you don't understand. You need to make sure that you have the vocabulary written down. The vocabulary are the highlighted words and um, you just write the definition. Sometimes in class I'll tell you that we're not going to do all the vocabulary, but if I don't tell you then assume that you need to do all the vocabulary words. This is so you can get a jump start on the lecture. Pause the video and write down your vocabulary. What you're going to do now, if you haven't already done so, is you're going to pause the video and go ahead and write down what's on the board. And every time I put in a new board, I might not always remember to say pause, but feel free to go ahead and pause it, write down, and then listen. Believe me, this is a very important thing so that you don't um, try to do two things at once and then you'll lose me, okay? So our very first section in geometry deals with points, lines, and planes. This is very, very simple. Um, we're just going to go through it. We're going to I'm going to tell you how to draw them and how to label them. This is because most everything we're doing in geometry has to do with shapes, and all these shapes have points, lines, and or planes, or all three put together. Most of the time, it's all three put together. So it's very important you know how to label them, you know how they look like, and you know um, correctly, because sometimes they won't have the drawing, they'll just have a letter up there, and you've got to know, okay, um, this is a point that they're talking about, this is a line according to the symbols that they give you. So the first one we're discussing is point, which you should have written down. Now how you write a point is very simple, it's just a dot. Now this dot has no shape or size. This means it cannot be measured, okay? Even though it looks like this, and I probably can put a ruler up to it, the definition of a point is that there's no measurement. So, the way we name this is by a capital letter. So any capital letter in print will do this one I still named P, but it doesn't mean all points are labeled P. Um, if I want to write it without drawing it, I can put point P. Now, this line is basically written just like you see here but with two arrows on that side. That arrow indicates that the line goes on forever and that's the definition of a line. If the arrows aren't there then it's something called a segment which we'll go over later. But now here we're going to, um, the definition of a line is that the arrows, it's infinite. Now there's two ways that you can name them. The first way is a lowercase script so that means cursive. Basically you're looking for a lowercase cursive which in this case is our letter N. Now again, it can be any letter. This one just so happens to be letter N. The next one, way you can do it, one or the other, is to name any two points. Now this line only has two points, but at times you're going to be faced where there's three or four points, and you just pick any two lines. I mean, any two points. My apologies. Um, as long as it's on the line, it can be in any order. So, for instance, I will name this line N for the lowercase cursive. Okay? But I can also name it line AB. I can either put line AB without that line, or I can just put line AB, you know. That line indicates that it's line. But I can do it in any combination. It doesn't have to be alphabetic order. So I can have AB or BA. The plane is basically modeled by three or more points. So a point is something that can't be measured, and then you have a line that can be measured, which is two points, and then if you add a third point that you have to connect, um, these three points, if it has at least three points, I could have more than that, but if it has at least three points, then it is considered a plane, which is a flat, two-dimensional surface. There's two ways in labeling that as well. The first one is to do an uppercase script, so uppercase cursive. In this case, this is our T. So I can label this plane, plane T. Another way to do it is three points, okay? The line is any two points, this one is any three points. And in any combination, again, so it could be plain X, Y, Z. Or you can say plain Z, Y, X, plain Z, X, Y, anything. Be creative, feel free, it doesn't have to be a certain order, as long as it's how many points? Three. So please make sure to take note of that. The last board we have has to do with example problems. Now this one you'll have two, sometimes you'll have more than two, 
Um, but the thing is, what you need to keep in mind is that you're going to write, pause it, and just write on the board like you would do the notes. And we're going to go through a problem together. Then you write those problems down. But you will do in black down here. These are the ones you're going to do on your own. These are the ones I'm not going to give an answer to. And when you come into class and you go back into your base groups, you're going to go ahead and show your answers and correct them. And as long as all the base group, uh, everyone in your base group got, understands it and has the right answer, then you're fine. If not, that's the time for, the, for you to ask questions. So the first one, make sure please to remember to pause it at any time in order to write everything. So the first one, it gives us a picture right here in orange, and it wants us to name a line containing point K. Now we're locating point K, which is right here. Point K goes on this line right here. So there's two ways. What was the first way again? We have lowercase a, okay, which is a lowercase a cursive. So when you look for cursive anywhere, this is lowercase. This is also cursive, but it's uppercase, so that's labeling a plane. So here, this is line A is a simple way to do it. Or the other way is any two points. So there's three points here. I can choose any two at any order, and I can say, and again, I don't have to work the, write the word line as long as I have that line on top. Okay. Same thing with here. I can do KL. Okay. I can do LJ. Just go ahead and have fun with it, but you can do any sorts of combinations of any of those three lines. Now a plane, this one's asking for a line, this one was asked, is asking for a plane, so how many points do I need? I need three points, any three points on this plane containing L, so this is the whole plane contains L. I can name any three points or I can name an uppercase script, uppercase cursive, which in this case is B. So I can say plane B. Okay? Now, that plane B, I can also do J, K, L. It doesn't even have to be on that line. It could be, um, I can include M in there because M is also on this plane. So I can do J, M, L and so on and so forth. Any combination of three points that happen to be on that plane. Pause it and write down your answer. When you're done with that, go ahead and try page 9, number 2, and when you think you've completed and do the answer, play the video again, and we'll move on to number 2. Okay, number 2 is working actually backwards from number 1, so in this case, they want you to answer questions on an image. This one, they're going to give you a whole bunch of information as you can see written, and you have to figure out, um, you have to figure out how to write this how to draw it out. So the first thing is they want us to draw and label. So we're going to draw and label. This one is not written correctly. I'm going to write this in again. This is the term collinear. My apologies. I had to erase it. Alright. <clears throat> so it says draw and label plane R. Um, uh, draw and label plane R contains A, B, and D, E. So we're going to draw plane R. Now plane R can be any shape. Rectangle just seems to be the favorite of the book. But you can draw a uh, triangle, you can draw a star, whatever it may be, but it's a plane, it's a flat 2D surface, and it is plane R. So since it's one letter, we're going to assume that it is cursive. So then we have A, B, and D, E. Lines A, B, and D, E. Now before you write it, go ahead and read until you, so you have all the information. Because it says that they intersect, so that means they cross each other, and the point where they cross each other is called point P. So let's, I can label it. It doesn't have to be in the middle. It doesn't even have to be anywhere. I just need to draw two random lines. So everyone's picture might end up different. Two random lines. And this is um, line AB because it's two letters. I'm assuming there's two points. And this is line DE. Okay. This middle point right here is my point P. Okay. That's where they intersect. And the last one says to add point C. Now I have to put point C, but it says that it so that it is not collinear with the, the two lines A, B, or D. The term not collinear, collinear is on your definitions. It just basically means not on the same line. So draw point C so it's not on the same line of A, B, or D. So as long as I don't draw it anywhere here, or anywhere here, I can draw it out in space right here, point C, then I have done everything that they have requested. So once you're done with writing that down, 
You can pause it at any time, please remember. Go ahead and turn back to page 9 and do number 6. And we will correct 2 and 6 tomorrow. And that's your entire homework for the night. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow.